Well, hello there, everyone. You're here to show you right here of a few illustration paintings I went and put together right here. I'll talk about, you know, for a young Molly Tigabits right here. And I talk about for beauty, beautiful Molly. And a half right here is for memories of the heart right here. So a half right here is these, uh, you know, Photoshop illustrations I went and put together right here. And also known as, you know, pen drawings. And uh, I know that uh, on uh, July 18th, so, uh, July 18th, 2018, uh, would have been my birthday so it was like you know that uh, a lot of uh, what I was uh, working with was a lot of it was uh, related to uh, your know, school work and uh, whenever I was in school I can remember those couple years ago whenever I was in school though that I can just uh, remember that I was in a logo design class and so it was like a, a lot of what I was working with was actually um Related to uh, you know, designing logo examples for like a company through on Amazon, and uh, so that's why that, uh, that that the teacher was asking me to go ahead and and uh, work on you know designs uh, mainly for like a uh, you know, brands and other company names, and maybe that uh, I haven't you know heard of you know haven't been you know not really familiar with, but just to try out other designs, and so that's why I was working on that, and. Um, and then I can remember that night, it was on uh, July the 17th, though, that I can just remember looking at the moon right here. Because the moon right here would be giving me an example. I'm like, you know, yeah, just like, just a little bit, you know, from uh, back in, you know, back in the early uh, 1980s, though. And uh, one of the O2s to a really, that has the moon uh, have always... It has the moon been always been the same whenever you're going to be looking at and knowing about whenever you do look at the moon that that's going to remind you just a little bit of the time of midnight, right? Like especially around New Year's, and it's going to remind you of midnight. And if that's going to, and you know, the special moment to where that I'm like, oh, yeah, especially like on a birthday uh, that you're going to go and look up at the moon. And especially if it's going to be after nine or 10 o'clock at night, you're going to go and look up at the moon and uh, want to know just a little bit as to where if that's supposed to remind you of anything, uh, a special day, if it's going to maybe be a wedding or an anniversary that you're looking forward to and all that. And uh, so I can say too that, you know, yeah, you know, the moon, you know, usually though, it's supposed to represent for like any source of nightlight though, but um, really though, have anybody really uh, thought about that to where that you want to kind of look at that it's like a birthday to where you look at the moon right there and uh want to know just a little bit as to where okay uh, you know if it's supposed to be like what you call like a night light or is it supposed to remind you what you call like a the you, know, the you know for your birthday i'm like your birthday to where yeah you're turning a year older and all that but still though it um and i know doing a lot of studies about space though and uh, just think about as to where that uh, how well do we really know uh, you know our solar system so far as with the other planets and stars and planets and all that. But there's something about the moon though, and I tell everybody that uh, you know yeah like uh, especially on uh, July the 15th you know like I could say too is to where the, on uh, July 15th that um, that uh, you know whenever I am gonna be you know I see whenever I was taking a few photographs whenever I was uh, taking the classes that the first thing that I was thinking about too was that you know yeah that are you going to be uh, you know do you think that you're going to maybe have class hours around at the time of uh, whenever you start um, you know working on some of your class assignments and uh, and if I can remember right it was at Tuesday or Wednesday afternoon and I think it was at Tuesday afternoon that there was an assignment that was due so I was kind of in and out of the classroom but then, uh, you know, whenever I uh, get the, the news, uh, whenever I read about the news, though, and likely thinking, too, a lot of things that I read about about the news, but still, that, uh, that uh, you know, it's like I say that is that, uh, any, you know, with the, the things that you read about on the news, and it would just say that the things that you'll get my attention especially, but still, about the, with Molly, so, you know, with Molly Tippett's story, though, that, uh, I just thinking too is that you know, yeah that uh, like most college students would probably say too that you know, yeah college students though that um, the college students that uh, a lot of times you know, and I'm sure most parents can probably say too that whenever a child that turns you know over the age of 17 18 that they want to be their own boss but a lot of parents would say too that uh, that yeah that you know we got loved ones family and friends that do. Uh, Want to keep an eye on a situation too, such as that, that people do get worried about situations like that. But I uh, have right here, or some of my designs right here that I'm sure everybody would probably like to look at right here. Of like half right here is just a pen drawing right here of uh, Molly right here. And let's just say that I drew her 
as as she's younger, you drew her younger, so it's like a like one or two is to where that uh, any of these illustration paintings and um, kept thinking too that you know yeah that uh, you know for anybody uh, who would maybe like to see uh, you know any uh, anything uh, which call so far as uh, you know, for a graphic artist though whenever I read about the Molly Tippett story I also keep thinking too is that you know, yeah young college student and also about you know for a graphic design so I know. Uh, that from what I read about is like the study of uh, psychology and social working, you know, that that was a little bit what I was doing, uh, you know, from back in February, actually. It was actually a written paper, you know, it was actually a, uh, a paper that I had to write about, just a study about what, how people think and what they want to speak about. And, um, and let's just say that maybe if it is about, you know, something that is uh, related to about the, the study about the, how, uh, you know other people about how they uh, read their you know read other people's minds and about you know how uh, you know how we're able to study about the mind. So let's just say that uh, if you're going to maybe be getting in groups of about maybe four or five other people and uh, you try to read their minds just by looking in their eyes and just kind of think about as to what exactly they're thinking and what is it that they're that they're talking about and what they're thinking about. So so I think that really a lot of study about the science too. That I really think that, that that finds it real interesting just because that, uh, you know, yeah, from back in February, studying about that psychology, about how other people think about others, and uh, whenever you communicate with others, and sometimes that you can actually uh, tell a little bit about how what other people are thinking just by, you know, the look that they have and just by the expression. And like, a, so I could say too that whenever you have conversations with somebody, and let's just say, that maybe if it is on Snapchat or some, you know, some site like that, and I want to know just a little bit too to worry that, you know, yeah, well, how did you know that or something like that? But, but uh, here, right here is this, uh, yeah, this painting right here. And, and I know that whenever I was looking at this right here, you know, it, it reminds me just, I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, young Molly Tibbetts, maybe, you know, whenever she was, uh, you know, eighth in the eighth grade or something like that. So I drew, I painted her as if she's young right here. And then you have this other painting right here, and I came up with her right here, the dress right here. So I, uh, and I know if, in case if somebody were to ask me though, that, um, that yeah, if you were to go ahead and do a painting of, uh, of your know, of young Molly, or if it's any other, you know, anybody else that, uh, that you would like say, you know, to admire to where, if you want to talk uh, about that to where that, you know, anything, uh, you know, related to about is that, uh, you know, yeah, that, uh, Anything uh, that is um, related to maybe if it's a um, you know missing you know missing persons case or something like that, and uh, you want that just a little bit too to where that you know yeah that if you want to go ahead and and it may be mentioned in the comment right there about is to where that yeah most kids though and uh, most kids that, that you know who are at least 17 18 years old that that they say is to where that I'm not a kid anymore, I'm growing up, but uh, parents can probably say too that, uh, that they do get worried about their kids, no matter if it's a cousin or if it's a, you know, mother-in-law or if it's a, you know, uh, just a you know, half-brother or just a, just a friend that, that your people are going to get worried. And um, so that's why that, um, that also mentioned too about what parents probably think too is that uh, with most parents, can say is that you know yeah you know even though if uh, the son or daughter you know they are over the age of 18 they're 20 years old and even though if they are old enough to maybe to buy their own car or even old enough to you know even to drink or anything like that go out and go party that uh, your know, parents or anybody you know any family members are going to get worried about them. so that's why that uh, you know I can say too is to where that much much uh, support that that anybody can give, and uh, that could probably be too, is to where the, yeah, well, you know, college students, college students can probably say too, is that, you know, yeah, if you're going to be a grown adult, that uh, you want or two is to where that, you know, you have it to where somebody's going to be getting worried about, about, you know, about something, and uh, they're going to be calling and want to know just a little bit too, and uh, so that's why that, um, that uh, it sure seems that way to where that, you uh, whenever you know people do get worried and uh, so that yeah you know, so yeah a lot of times it sure seems that way to where that uh, you know even though uh, 
if uh, somebody, if you don't hear from somebody, maybe for a couple of hours or a couple of days or something like that, but uh, still. But yeah, I have to pay this right here, this picture, if, you know, if Molly were to be wearing a dress right here, so let's just say that this right here was Molly right here, and let's just say if maybe this was like maybe for homecoming or prom night or something like that. So let's just say if she was dressed in some, something special, and let's just say if maybe if it was from her for her freshman year or something like that, maybe from her junior or sophomore year, maybe in high school, that uh, she would have one to call one of those fancy dresses that she was wearing. So that's why that uh, when I was working on this right here, and I was sure everybody else here some other designs that uh, I might have right here. Molly, you know, Molly right here, like say with the digital beautiful, like digital beautiful dress right here. And um, I also uh, want to mention right here, this painting right here, I'm going to talk about right here. It's talk about, you know, the spirit right here. And uh, so whenever I was working on this, I wanted to kind of paint right here. And this right here was supposed to be like, uh, you know, Molly's uh, angel, actually. It's supposed to be like like an angel right here. And uh, for like, uh, you know, any you know anything uh, which calls supportive for like, which call, you know, if it's... um. Related to a bot is to where anybody that uh, that you want to keep, uh, we want to keep in our hearts and want to know is to where, yeah, you go ahead and paint a picture of somebody and uh, want to know just a little bit too to where that you know, you go ahead and, and start that painting just by drawing a pen sketch and then you want to go ahead and, and add some details and maybe some flowers in the background and that uh, you would just want to say is to where just thinking about, you know, the person and, uh, you know, yeah, you know, uh, if it's a uh, Molly or if it's anybody else that you might hear about, and um, one know two days to where that you know, yeah, July 18th was my birthday, and I was trying to celebrate it in a reasonable manner, and uh, one of those reasonable manners was also about uh, us to where that you know, yeah, that uh, you know, anything that you hear about on the news, and so that's why that you'll know, try try to be as supportive as I can. And so that's why that I, whenever I was working on this painting right here, that uh, I'm not trying to make it look like if Molly was actually a cheerleader, but uh, but actually the spirit right here. So this right here is actually a freehand drawing that I came that I was working on right here. And I know a lot of those art teachers would probably be pretty impressed about that. About you go ahead and and paint a picture, and let's just say if it's supposed to be what's called an angel, if you try. If you paint a picture of like an angel and and then let's just say that uh, you tell somebody the the full story about is to where it, yeah, well if that's just to show support to the family or if it's anything about so you have right there so your know, spirit right there and um, so you have right here I talk on you know these other paintings right here but uh, you got right here is the moon and then you have right here is for that the heart of life right here so you have these different paintings that I was working on right here. But I was also taking twos to where that I want to also mention about about being a light. And um, so I know uh, according to what I heard uh, on it, which you a biography you know, from Molly Tibbetts, and it could also be uh, you know, other public speakers. So that, uh, you know, why is it that, that you know, a lot of times that you want to be in the center of attention whenever it comes to uh, doing a, a public speech you know, in front of a lot of people? And even though if you don't know them, that what's the best way of how to uh, – show about you to where that you care about other people and willing to help other people and sometimes though that, that whenever you want to give a speech to other people that what's the best way of how to explain about you know for whenever you're going to be in front of a group of people and let's just say if it's maybe at an assembly yeah you know, if you're going to be in an assembly and if you're going to be standing in front of a crowd of people and at 102 is to where that you try to mainly focus on uh, you know, if you want to kind of call it your passion to where whenever you want to give a speech, you know, to the public about something that the first thing that you want to really want to talk about is like a start about is like, you know, maybe for a topic or a conclusion to where you want to start talking about something and how it approaches other people, and what you think that you can do to make a difference. And I think that that's really all about what it's all about is to where to study about psychology, that what you think that you can do that that makes a difference. and. Um, and I know uh, 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 a painting I was working on a, a few uh, months ago actually was called, I call that Little Mascot. Because in case of somebody were wanting to word it, yeah, what is a mascot? That's actually a way uh, of how you want to say is to where the school's a name. To where if you got a college or university, 
that's going to have a mascot. And let's just say that uh, you know that mascot right there is maybe going to be named after a village, or maybe the Pilgrims, or something like that, or maybe after a river from a you know from a certain state, or something like something like that. But you know, anyway, um. But talking about your know, speech, though, that whenever we give a speech about something, that uh, are we necessarily talking about that you know what we can do to make a difference, or you just want to you know have you know, have it to where that other people can hear your voice, you know, whenever you speak, and so whenever you're going to be talking about something, and uh, you're likely wanting to is to where that uh, you know you want to be a center of attention, especially and uh, being the light. And uh, whenever you talk about being of a center of attention, that also means it's to where the other people are looking at you and listening to what you got to say. And um, so I know with me, though, back when I was young, that uh, I think I was in the fifth grade during the time, that it seems like a lot of times, so though, it was like, you know, whenever you get people's attention, necessarily, that, you know, you know it, kind of, it does make you nervous. But the things that you really want to speak about is really about is to making sure your know, people are listening and so whenever you uh, want to talk about something it could also maybe be uh, about maybe journalists um, like you're know, talking about something about maybe a project a science project or something like that and that uh, you want to choose to work that um you know you want to be in the center of attention and uh, so that's why it sure seems that way to where the first thing that you think about is to where that, yeah, you want to be a few minutes early, you know, getting the speech all ready and you want to get your, you know, your, 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 yeah, you want to go ahead and get your performance all ready. You want to get all dressed up nice and all that. So, yeah, you know, you want to get an early start on uh, you know, getting uh, your, your speech ready. And so that's why that, that sure seems that way to where that in order to be able to, um, you know, get a good start on something. You just gotta get everything uh, ready, you know, early, you know, all ready, you know, to be able to make your speech. And so I know with me though that uh, that I was uh, like that during the, most of my college years, is to where that in order to be able to get attention, in order to be able to that you know uh, allow the teacher or anybody else to get your attention, is that you know, yeah, you go ahead and post up, you go ahead and and, and turn in your assignment, and uh, you want to go ahead and turn it in uh, early. You want to go ahead and and a post early uh, so that way people the teacher can see it and then they can review it and uh so it sure seems that way whenever you're the first in line you want at least try to get caught up with um you want to try to catch up with anything else that maybe you've missed and uh, also that uh you know just maybe if you can maybe do a little bit better you know during the whole you know maybe a you know three more days of a class or something like that and uh, you want to go ahead and uh, try to, you know, submit an assignment maybe for some extra credit or something like that. So a lot of the, the times when I was going to school, though, that I had, you know, spent a lot of time studying, I had a, lot of, a lot of studying hours, and tell everybody, too, that it wasn't that easy as I thought it was, and so it sure seems that way to where, if you want to kind of call it, is to where, yeah, loyalty, that uh, whenever you're going to be 18 or older, that uh, it sure seems that way to where, that, uh, you know, even though if you do talk to your parents, though, or, you know, your aunt or uncle, that uh, you keep the, the first thing that you think about is that, that, you know, yeah, well, I'm growing up now and I'm not a kid anymore. But uh, I guess you could also think, too, is to where that the people who care about you and and knowing about what they want, you know, you know what you, you know, anything else that goes on so far as um, is that, that whenever you're going to be a, a student, though, that you're going to have it to where that, you know, yeah, that uh, about almost everybody's going to be really busy, really just to listen to what you got to say and all that. But really, though, that that was that was really my case. So with my case, though, not it seems like not everybody had the time to listen to what I had to say. You know, they had a hard time understanding my language. You know, that a lot of times that was with, with my case. But still, though, that, uh, you know, whenever they're going to be looking at a, a picture or painting like this right here, and I want to know just a little bit too to her that, yeah, yeah, she looks a little bit like a cheerleader right there. And I say, yo, young Molly Tippett's right here, yo, beautiful Molly Tippett's. And, and then, um, sure, everybody here, this right here will be, uh, Molly Tippett's as she were to be wearing a dress right here. You know, your beautiful University of Iowa, Molly Tippett's right here, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Iowa, right there. Beautiful, you know, Molly. And, uh, so I can say too that, uh, 
that uh, whenever I was uh, working on this, uh, that I want to go ahead and try to add as much artistic detail right here to where she would be wearing a dress. And um, so I can say that um, that I know that um, other, uh, you know, you know, anything, you know, anything create like flowers in the background and maybe a few butterflies is something that I want to work on at, you know, at, you know, at some point, but still that uh, I know that uh, whenever I came up across, you know, whenever I, this story approached my attention, though, it was really uh, mainly about, it was this tour that, you know, yeah, that, you know, my birthday uh, was on July, on that uh, Wednesday, July 18th, and uh, I can remember after the 4th of July, I can just remember to where that uh, around the 18th, I think it was around August the 19th is whenever the finals were coming around. So whenever they were talking about on the news about all that stuff that, uh, you know, trying to, um, you know, trying trying to find uh, you know I say you know, for you know missing person and uh you're likely aware too is to where that you know for you know with all that you can do and uh so likely aware too that that's one of the reasons why that uh working on these paintings right here is just to show my support right there and uh but still that um uh, you know really though who would really hire a graphic designer you know just to put the, all this together even though if, if that you know may not even look you know anything at all like maybe like molly or you know for classmates but um but still just to show some support also uh but then also that uh you know it kind of make it look like a little bit like like the light you know here right here's the talk you know in the light right here so i know that uh a few flowers and butterflies and uh, you know anything for the springtime and but still though it uh that you know, a lot of teachers would ask me too. That you know, for being a graphic artist, that what's the 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 top things that people would probably say about your work that finds it really appealing to them. And uh, let's just say, it, even if it is digital beautiful, or you know, maybe if it is putting together a magazine. That um, you know, you were that too to work that uh, about your graphic design right here. That uh, you know, a lot of things, and I um. Uh, Whenever I'm looking at this painting right here, it's starting to kind of remind me, uh, you know, a little bit of like, uh, you know, yeah, Goldilocks, you know, like a you know, little Miss Muffet or something, like that, but still that, um, you know, I guess Molly, Molly enjoyed working with kids and all that. So I, you know, in case if somebody were to say that, you know, yeah, if you do any, any more paintings in the, uh, later on in the near future, that uh, go ahead and, and put that like on, on the memory to where a graphic artist to where she'd like working with kids. And uh, if you want to go ahead and uh, add some your know, kids right there, and uh, like say that you know, yeah, I like working with kids, and she like working with other people. And um, but you have right here, I talk about for the the memories of the heart right here. So with most graphic artists, can probably say too that you know, whenever you first introduced the skill, you were mainly uh, focused on uh, you know to where you want to go ahead and draw a picture, and let's just say if it's a black and white picture, you just uh you know, black and white picture that, uh, with this black and white picture that, uh, the only thing that maybe everybody else could not really understand was the fact about that, um, that whenever you were sketching this, that, uh, you know, yeah, you did not have uh, the heart example in Sutter So, you know, if we want to call it, you know, for, you know, pre-editing and as well as uh, important and exporting and all that, but still, what most graphic artists can probably say too, is that whenever you're going to be developing, you know, whenever you're going to be working on art right here, that uh, you just really want to kind of generate some ideas about, you know, yeah, that, you know, whenever you want to go ahead and draw a portrait of somebody, and let's just say that maybe if it's a, you know, maybe for a book author or if it's a, you're for a college student. And um, so I uh, mentioned about, you know, to where about the gold monument because I know uh, somebody's going to maybe ask me about that, about the gold monument birthday. Exactly what does that mean? Like, well, that means 25 years, I'm like, you know, yeah, whenever you get older, whenever you grow up and get older and turn, you know, and whenever you turn 18 or older, that um, that uh, whenever you're going to be a college student, that a lot of things that you look forward to so far as the college education, that's something that I asked for on my birthday. And uh, I tell everybody that that's really sad just to think about a lot of things that I read about on the news, such as to where that... Uh, Anything that I read about on the news and uh, want to know too is to worry that, you know, yeah, about your college education. College education, you know, my college education, you know, so far as the overall expectation about that 
was like, you know, yeah, that, uh, you know, whenever you were in class, that maybe there were some courses that she didn't do very well with. And, uh, you know, during the whole uh, semester that um, you were working, doing, studying for class hours, trying to turn in a class assignment, and it sure seemed that way to where that, that you know, the thing that you wanted to do, you were wanting to hope for, of course, was a good grade. That you want to get at least a passing grade, at least a, a B or, a, if anything, an A. You know, you want to get an A in that course, but then uh, you wind up getting a, a C- minus or something. So it's like, you know, during the whole time that I was uh, taking classes, that it seems like that there were a lot of uh, classes, that there were quite a few of them that, um, that, that during the time that I was taking and uh, I can tell everybody here that not everything went very smoothly. So whenever I talk about some of the stuff that I'm working on here, it sure seems that way to where, let's just say, if this person was one of your classmates, and maybe if you were going to the same campus you know, with this classmate, and one know too that a lot of things that you hear about, and one know too is toward the, yeah, today was supposed to be that special reunion or if it was supposed to be your birthday until you read a news article about you know somebody uh, you know went missing or you know possibly you know, abducted or if anything um you know anything else that goes on you know like yeah if it's uh, anything uh, such as what you call anything that you hear about on the news such as maybe if it's terrorist or something like that your know, terrorism and so yeah that uh, you know ever since uh, September 11th that sure seems that way to where that, uh, you know, yeah, whenever you're in school trying to take a spelling test that you're going to hear on the intercom that, uh, that you know, yeah, that there's, um, you, know, uh, you know, since September 11th. And I can tell everybody here, too, that even though if you were in a meeting that, uh, you know, today was supposed to be a special day, but instead you hear something else on the news about something. And uh, so that's why that, uh, you know, I... Uh, Whenever on that day on July 18th, though, it was like uh, reading about those articles, and uh, it sure seemed that way to where that, you know, at least until whenever class was over, that I was not able to discuss any further details about what I have. And uh, so it's like, say that, yeah, yeah, these are graphic designing paintings right here. But still, as for a graphic designer right here that I put together right here, these paintings right here, and uh, so people might likely say too that uh, with these graphic designs right here, that uh, you know, for a digital art, that um, I tell everybody that you know I try to support as much as I can with uh, you know young Molly, and it could be you know anybody else that uh, they say that you know yeah you know, get on social media and let's just say maybe if it's on Twitter, and uh, you're gonna maybe think too to where that uh, anything uh, for what you call precious and treasures and. And like something like that, but um, but I can tell you everybody too that you know uh, I was not studying psychology and social working, so I was studying uh, graphic design. So in case if somebody were to ask me though that uh, you know really what does psychology really teach you so far as getting to know other people, and uh, it sure seemed that way to where it was all about my writing that I had to write a perfect. Uh, written a you know document on like you know, any paper that I was writing for school or if it's anything about what's called language though and uh so it sure seems that way to her that uh you know uh, during the time that I was going to school though that that's what I was talking about on my birthday that I mentioned about is to her that try to improve uh, my language and, and it sure seemed that way to her you know people tell me over and over that, that it's hard for them to understand the language you know, just because that, you know, maybe because there's no picture there, no picture present, or just because that, oh, okay, well, you did not include a topic or a conclusion or something like that to include in your story. And, uh, so that's why that, uh, you know, whenever I work on some of these paintings right here, I think about creativity. And uh, so that's why that um, with Molly's story right here, I talk about with most college students, though, that, that they go to school, you know, to learn and, uh, you know, we all have a future, and uh, it's just like I say, is to where that uh, whenever I'm uh, start doing the studies right here, and uh, you know, like I say that on that that night, it was I think it was that Monday, that Monday night on uh, July the 16th, though, that um, and I was thinking about you know looking at the moon right there, and I was just thinking about how well 
that day on July 18th was going to be. And uh, so it sure, it sure seemed that way to where, yeah, are you going to be maybe uh, in the classroom working on homework on that day? Are you uh, maybe going to be uh, maybe spending a little bit of time on uh, maybe Facebook or something like that or if anything, uh, yeah, you know, but still that, um, you know, I think um, that was before I even uh, had Twitter, but still that uh, tell everybody that there was a lot of uh, possibilities I was looking forward to on that day on July 18th, but uh, tell everybody that, yeah, I'm a college student. So that's why that, uh, you know, on my birthday, though, that uh, I was uh, thinking it was toward I was probably going to be in the classroom having to work on the homework on that day. But still, I uh, have right here for young Molly Tibbetts right here. And uh, it's really sad to think about that, too, to where that, you know, even though that I uh, hear about on the news and um, but still. That, um, you know, uh, it's like you say, too, that, uh, you know, college students, so that, you know, even though if you are 20 years old and you may think that, you know, you're your own boss, you're your own boss and, you know, your parents, all right, but, you know, you know even your boyfriend and, you know, even if it's a brother, though, that, that they're, they're going to get worried about about you, even though that it sure seems that way to where any days like any other particular day and, and, uh, you know, even though if you're going to be going out on a jog at one afternoon or even though if you're going to be going to a meeting, you know, even though if you're going to be going to a meeting and uh, people are going to want to know that, uh, OK, uh, you know, let me know whenever you're at the, do you know, the doctor's appointment. Yeah. Even if it's a job interview or a doctor's appointment that you know, somebody's going to be wondering about, you know, OK, what the doctor had to say. So it sure, sure seems that way to where that. Um, you know, uh, even though if you claim to be oh, your own independent, you know, your your own, uh, you're growing, you know, even though if you're growing up, you know, you're 18 or older, that parents are going to get be concerned and worried. So that's why that um, they say too is to where even though if you don't know somebody that uh, want to know too that uh, you know really though that anything else that uh, that you think that you like to say, but I'm like, well, really though that was on my birthday. You know, uh, September 11th was not on my birthday, but still, that I was wanting to celebrate July 18th as like a day of honor to those college students. But it's, it seems like it was all about us to where that other than Veterans Day, that, um, you know, I was not able to celebrate my birthday exactly just because that, you know, yeah, let's just say if it was because that, you know, they're telling you, the school's telling you that you're not, you don't have enough credits to graduate. And you gotta wait until next year. So let's just say that, that was the case that uh, you know on your on your birthday, and you were told that uh, you know you don't have enough credits in order to graduate. So yeah, that uh, you know if you're gonna be a student, and let's just say that the school tells you that you got three more years before you can see a graduation day set you know, on schedule. And um, so tell everybody that you know even though yeah, even if you wait five or ten or years or so. Before you decide to continue your education, and uh, want to know just a little bit too, to where the, yeah, you may not, you know, I may not see a graduation day coming, at least until maybe another three or four more years or so. But whenever I think about these paintings right here, I try to make them as artistic as I can. And uh, whenever I'm drawing this right here, painting this right here, I actually show this to where that most parents can probably say too about your daughter that, uh, yeah, that. Um, that, you know, whenever you think about something artistic that uh, you also want to think about is to where what brings the artwork to life. And uh, do you think about that of being a graphic artist? You know, with the graphic artist, though, that most graphic artists would say, too, that, uh, you know, uh, what inspires you to show your artwork, you know, as a graphic designer or as a web developer? And uh, I actually look at that as support, you know, uh, love and support whenever I do that. So tell everybody that, um, you know, who's uh, listening and watching that, uh, you know, yeah, that, uh, you know, whenever I look at these uh, paintings right here, that I try to make them as artistic as, as I can to make it look like a, a photograph. And uh, even though if it's not an actual photograph, but still, just like what you call, you know, for support, you know, for the person and uh, it's say that the, the heart of life right there. So any... Anybody who's going to be looking at you know, the graphic artist's work and they're going to maybe say is to where the heart of life, exactly what does that mean? Well, you know, uh, 
it's not just a painting. It's actually something that represents you, that person. You know, even though they are in the spirit, you see, of heaven and all that, you know, yeah, they are in the spirit. You know, that, you know, say, but still, that, uh, that I know that, uh, you know, with young Molly, though, that uh, talk about the heart of life right here is to where family and friends who do support her as much as they can. And uh, I like with me, though, that, that you know, July 18th would have been on my birthday. And so that's why that uh, tell anybody that, um, that, you know, if you want to go and pick a story in particular, besides the president, that you want to talk about you to show a little bit of your graphic design work. And uh, one of those was Molly Tibbetts. And, and I can tell anybody too, uh, another uh, project, I'm like, yeah, it was uh, J.C. Dugart also, you know, other graphic, you know, arts too. But uh, besides Petty Crocker, I'm like, yeah. So in case of somebody were to say that, you know, yeah, if you want to go ahead and, and work on a cookbook design, you know, for like a, for a cookbook or something like that. And um, so like we wanted to do that, especially for a holiday, you know, during, you know, for Christmas time, that uh, how many of us will maybe say is to where if you want to honor Molly and uh, say is to where that, yep, yep, she's in peace. But um, one note too is that uh, whenever you're going to be working some artistic uh, paintings right here, you want to go ahead and, and paint it into where like a, have it like a, she was wearing a dress right here. And uh, so like we wanted to do the, yeah, yeah, putting a dress on her and uh, plus uh, making it look like if she was actually a college student and 102 is much uh, love and support that you give. But still, you know, even though if you didn't know the person, no, it sure seems that way to her that, you know, yeah, in order to be able to get to know somebody a little bit better, it sure seems that way to her that, um, you know, you just got up, uh, you know, if you want to kind of say it's to her that uh, it seems like it's uh it's all about, you know, having your work discovered. You know, somebody discovers your work and then uh, they want to talk further details uh, just a little bit about it. And uh, so really, though, that uh, whenever I'm uh, working on these uh, drawings, too, that I also keep thinking, too, to, to where other people who look at it is that, you know, yeah, that uh, how artistic is this right here? You have right here is for beautiful. And then uh, you have right here is uh, you know, how artistic is that? And, um so I, I uh, have put together right here quite a few paintings right here. But uh, let's, let's just say that if one of those paintings could also maybe include uh, what's called that, uh, the senior prom or something like that, you know, from high school and um, maybe from the middle school, young middle school years and uh, compared to the college year. And uh, But uh, anyway, um, but I know that... Um, that whenever I think about this story right here is to where that your college students though, that uh, they say too is to where that, you know, yeah, they all have a bright future of them. But I also want to talk about, about, you know, being at the light, you know, that, uh, that I know that, uh, that that's a, a way of how to get somebody's attention. And um, one of those ways, of course, is to talk about maybe something about your psychology that, uh, that understanding a little bit about what the person, I'm like, yeah, why uh, you want to be uh, in the light. And uh, I guess uh, some may say that, yeah, well, the best way of how to uh, describe it is that uh, really, though, that uh, whenever, you, uh, whenever you're going to be in the light, that um, you are basically the main character. Uh, you, know, you, know, you are basically this character who gets uh, other you know, viewers' attention. And whenever you start talking about stuff going on, maybe around town or in the community, then that really catches other people's attention. So whenever I start talking about some of our artwork right here, then I know in case of somebody will warrant where the first thing that they're going to say is that, you know, if that right there is supposed to be a photograph or is that a painting right there? And I tell them no, it's a painting. So, yeah, that uh, what approaches my paintings to everybody else, and uh, they might say, too, that, yeah, well, unless if it's included in any source of yearbook or something like that, or any source of homecoming games or something like that, and uh, 102 is to where how people find that really appealing, you know, how that approaches other, other viewers. But, um, you know, memories of the heart right here. So, yeah, you know, other graphic designs I've worked also, but, uh, but still, that I know that... Uh, just want to mention about that as well, but uh, about you know, about graphic design. But you know, anyway, um, but you know, thanks for watching, everyone. It's like you know, for having a great day. But uh, yeah, I just I just want to also mention too that um, that yeah, that uh, 
that you know besides our birthday though that uh, you know for how far the education goes and uh and i know with me though that july 18th uh, was on my birthday and that would have been what's called you know, entering my second year in college and i tell everybody that you know uh, yeah, you know, a, a college education was something I was looking forward to. And besides being engaged, besides uh, meeting somebody special and besides becoming engaged, that uh, I, uh, you know, getting married and all that in the near future, though, that a college education was one of those uh, opportunities that I, that I really, uh, you know, was looking forward to. And, um, and so I say, yeah, if it's a uh, Besides the Department of Treasury, and uh, another thing that I mentioned too was about taxes, though, and uh, so that's another reasons why, in case of the at the parents or anybody else, you know, any other fa friends and family that they might ask me too, is to where the why do I want to spend so much time working on this right here? But tell them that you know, really though, that uh, July eighteenth, two thousand eighteen, was on my birthday. That was supposed to be uh, the gold monument year. What I call Gold Monument Year. That was supposed to be a day to where that I was, uh, you know, that was on my birthday, and then that was supposed to be uh, celebrate, you know, for my college year. Until I read the news article about that, and uh, so that's why that in case of somebody were warned to where that, um, you know, all those other college students and uh, making sure that everybody's safe too, and um, so that's why that. Uh, Making sure everybody's safe, and uh, whenever you're going to be giving a speech about maybe safety, though, that uh, you were that too, to where that you know, really, that uh, the best way of how to get somebody's attention, it sure seems that way, to where you want to point out a few things that are important, such as recently, though, that uh, you know, yeah, that uh, you know, maybe if it's a uh, after you get your driver's license or something like that, or maybe go to a party, I'm like, you, know, you go to the go to the, the local bars or a party or somewhere like that. And we all know that whenever you're going to be a college student, that uh, you're going to be going to a party. And you're going to be maybe be meeting a lot of people there that you don't know right away. Or if anything, you're just going to be talking to them. So, yeah, even if it's shopping or going to a party, it sure seems that way to where really, uh, Michael, but, you know, anything can happen, but still, that... Uh, yeah, I think one important you know reason to know, of course, is about is to where those they care about Molly and uh, you know for all the support that I can really give to Molly and um, so I could probably say too that you know yeah that uh, on my birthday that uh, I may have to remember that within the next um, two years, two or three years into the future, whenever I do earn my bachelor's degree and uh, just want to know is to where about how much. Uh, you know how much support and light you know, that my artwork does get, and uh, you know, so tell everybody too that uh, you know, yeah, that was a part of my assignment too. Was to tell everybody that what does graphic design mean to me? It also means by is is to where that whenever I do my graphic art, that actually shows about how other people understand uh, what I'm working with, and uh, so far as the clear English and what I put together right here, so far as this graphic design work right here. Exactly. What does all this mean right here? And um, so I do a painting right here. And let's just say one way that maybe I can bring the artwork to life is maybe, as I say, that yeah, if it's supposed to be what's called like what's called those special moments in time. And uh, one of those special moments in time it's going to maybe be about is to where the yeah, you know, Molly Tippett's you know born on a uh, May eighth, uh, you know, nineteen ninety eight, and. So as I say that, you know, by next year, though, that, uh, you know, keep that remembrance as to where that, um, about uh, Molly's Angel. And uh, and I don't know if anybody that may want to use to where that, uh, you know, talking about, you know, young Molly Tibbetts that uh, want to know that, uh, you know, yeah, about Molly Tibbetts, you know, her angel, you know, especially around Christmas time, that uh, for what brings my artwork to life and, one of those ways, of course, is to think about your know, spirit, your know, spirit of Molly right there. And uh, but anyway, uh, you know, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.